In today's video, we're going to spend some quality time with Glock Slimline Series, the G43 and the G48. Stick around because we're going to have some fun. Thanks for joining us today on Shooter the Series. My name is Ed Thorell, and we want to thank you all for joining us today. And if you haven't done it already, hit the like, the share, and the subscribe. So today we're, uh, we're really blessed to have um, a couple of guns we haven't had a chance to play with before, the Glock 43 and the Glock 48, which are part of their single stack slimline series. And I want to start by saying right off the bat, that you know these guns are both off roster in california but we have people that view us from out of california and we're not going to miss an opportunity to try out some really cool guns just because they're hard to find in california so let's take a look at them so we're going to start like we always do by showing safe and clear glock 43 safe and clear glock 48 safe and clear all right so what we have here is a pair of glocks these are both single stack meaning that um, when the cartridges are inserted into the magazine they're straight up and down now one of the values of the slimline series is they work really really well either as a hideaway gun as a backup they conceal very nicely because they've got a very narrow profile or if you've got a shooter with small hands it makes them much easier to reach the trigger and the g43 is the smallest glock made now they also make the g42 in 380 but this is the smallest this is a subcompact and generally a subcompact means you may only be able to get two fingers on it when you grip it now you can get from glock as well as from some other companies an extension which is going to help uh, give you a little bit more grip so that you can get a full hand on it and you know for me a subcompact means you risk not being able to use your pinky to grip it and that's giving up 30 percent of your hand strength right there i'd rather have a full hand grip on it and get a good purchase when it comes to controlling a pistol like this now one of the things worth pointing out is the g43 as well as the g48 they come in with a an extended beaver tail now what the beaver tail does is it allows you to grab the gun as high as possible so that you can get really good control of it when it comes to recoil. You don't want to be down here and you don't want to grab it too high. And the beaver tail is going to help you grab the gun as high as you possibly can without the slide coming back and biting the back of your hand, which is something we need to be careful of. Um, so the beaver tail is a big, big deal. I'm a big supporter of that. One of the things that you're going to notice is that even though the gun is very, very small, the controls are the same size. So you keep the same type, uh, same size of controls that you get with a larger Glock. You're not going to be compromising by getting a small gun with small controls. So the controls are going to be the same size, easy to manipulate. The other thing is that the, um, the magazine release is actually ambidextrous. So you can actually change it out from the right-hand side to the left-hand side if for, you know, you're dealing with somebody that's a righty or a lefty. That's going to make it a little bit easier for them. Other things that are, are worth talking about, um, other than the beaver tail and the regular size safeties, is the fact that this is very, very slim. Now, one of the things, uh, you know, to, to base this on would be slim compared to what? It's slim compared to, say, the Glock 17, the Glock 19, the Glock 26, which are all a double stack and wider. Um, 
This is about one inch in thickness, which means they've reduced this about 20% off of the thickness that you would normally get with one of the G17, 19s, or 26. One of the things that that does by coming up with a slimmer profile means it's much easier to reach the trigger. And I've worked with some students that have a really tough time with the reach. So what they have done by making this with a thinner profile is now it's a two and a half inch reach to the trigger instead of a three inch reach that you would get with one of the double stacks. And we'll illustrate that in a little bit. It's a small pistol. It also comes with um, what Glock calls its um, you know, rough texture finish. And it, it's not necessarily rough in, in what I would consider, but this is the finish they provide for the gripping surface. Um, I personally, you know, we'll see how it shoots. Um, I particularly prefer something with a little bit rougher finish, especially with a smaller gun that's going to have a little bit more snap. Let's talk a little bit about the G48. And now the G48 is going to be uh, very, very similar in features to the, the smaller G43. The, uh, the G48 comes with a 10 round magazine, while the 43 comes with a six round magazine. So one of the trade-offs that you're going to get with a single stack is a lower round count. And this is best illustrated by taking a look at the two magazines because with the G43, you're going to get six rounds of nine millimeter, and with the G48, you're gonna get 10. So it's the price you pay for getting a slimmer gun that's easier to conceal, and for people with smaller hands, it makes them easier to reach the trigger. Now, one of the things I wanna do is introduce my, uh, my Glock 19 so that we can better illustrate this. So you can see that the Glock 19 is safe and clear. We can have a nice, safe conversation. And the best thing that I can do to illustrate things for scale is to show that um, the Glock 19 and, the, and the, the G48 are almost the exact same footprint, meaning they're gonna take up just exactly the same amount of space on your holster and on your uh, waistband when you carry as the other. And the best way to think about this is they have basically taken a G19 double stack, slimmed it down 20% to make a single stack. And because you're gonna see, if you compare it, the slides are exactly the same length. And also, the hand grips are the exact same length. But here, you can actually see the difference in the thickness. Going from a one and a quarter um, width down to a one inch width. But in terms of, you know, the footprint, they're, they're pretty much the exact same size gun except for the width and the fact that one of them is a double stack and one of them is a single stack. And uh, they're, they're both really well finished. Um, they feel good in the hand. They're definitely lighter weight. So, you know, keep in mind that one of the things that you're going to encounter when you're dealing with a lighter weight gun is you're going to have more recoil. So, in some ways, the weight is your friend. So, what we're going to do is give us a couple of seconds, and we're going to load them up, and we're going to put some rounds through them, and then we'll give you our impressions on what they're really like to shoot. All right, we want to thank our friends over at 951 Tactical who set us up with a couple of holsters for both of these two, uh, just to kind of show you how they work. And it's, it's worth noting that this is an inside the waist holster, and this is actually set up for appendix carry. And this little particular thing is what I've heard called the claw. And this basically uh, helps push it more into your belly so that it's got a much smaller potential for printing. You know, this helps 
torque it in a little bit so that you show less of a print. Now, I'm not really comfortable with appendix carry, and even though these are designed for appendix carry, I'm still going to work from the 4 o'clock position, which is what I like. And these come with a nice heavy-duty clip right here so that when it goes inside your waistband, it's going to lock on your belt and it's not going to come out. Okay, just to give you an idea of how well the G43 conceals, you know, here's, here's the big advantage of having a G43 is that because it is so slim, especially when worn in an inside the waistband holster, there's not much there to see or print. And this is not really an optimum uh, shirt for this, but I think you get the point. So anyway, I noticed when I loaded up the magazine that it actually has what they would call a, uh, uh, a 2 plus 1 or uh, 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 an, an extra, what do they call it, a 2 plus magazine plate that's going to add an extra two rounds to this. So even though it's come stock with a 6, this a particular magazine is going to hold eight rounds. All right, so we're going to get started here. And it's a small gun, so you got to definitely have a good purchase with it when you when you get a hold of it. Dead center. You know, I was really expecting that this was going to have more recoil to it, but this is actually real easy to control. The recoil with this is not bad at all. It's actually a really smooth shooting piece, and I was expecting more recoil from it. Um, one of the reasons why it might have less recoil is it's also got a dual spring system that you know emerged from the Gen 4, and that dual spring system is definitely going to help lighten up some of that felt recoil. So, one second, I'm going to switch this out. To remove this, undo the clip, comes right out. Presto changeo. No big drama, easy to use. All right, same thing with the G48. Um, it's got a slightly different type of clip on it, but it still works. And uh, the beauty of the inside the waist holster is the fact that it disappears so nicely. So even with that, it's a little bit slightly larger. It really doesn't show much. So let's give this a try. All right. That was my fault. Got excited. It happens. It's a great little shooter. It's a little bit different than the 19 because it's got a slimmer profile. Fits a little bit different in my hand. But I'll tell you what, I could really easily get used to carrying this instead of the 19 uh, because it's just so lightweight. And with something like this, if, if you forget that you're carrying it, nobody else is going to notice either because you're not going to be adjusting your belt all day long. Um, they're great little shooters. For me, I would rather have a little bit more texture on the grip. And I think for a lot of polymer guns, like the Glock, um, probably one of the best $20 upgrades you could make would be a set of Talon grips. If you like the rubber, that's great. Um, I would think that the granular, which is a little bit more aggressive grip, might be a little bit better for a smaller gun, just so that you've got a much, sure, much more sure grip. Um, and it's just a fantastic little pistol. I have absolutely nothing bad to say about it, except I don't have one. Um, but, you know, both of these guns are off roster. And what that means is in California, there is a list approved by the state of California, which these are not on. The only way that these are available in California is to law enforcement, to being bought new. However, 
Um, these are available if you buy them used. So if it comes into the state legally, you can resell it legally. So that's the reason why um, I, I have this one in my hand today is a client of mine and a good friend uh, loaned these to me because he bought these used. So I would say that the Glock 43 and the Glock 48 are fantastic choices for either a backup pistol or for somebody with smaller hands. And um, these things, they shoot like a dream, I gotta tell you. And uh, maybe someday the laws will change and in California we'll be able to get these. And if so, probably gonna need a bigger gun safe. Anyway, we wanna thank you all for joining us here on Shoot of the Series. We wanna give a big shout out to our good friends over at 951 Tactical for keeping us supplied in great Kydex. They also have a lot of other products. We're going to be putting their information uh, down in the information box so you can get in touch with them as well. And on behalf of Shoot of the Series, thank you very much. Y'all take care.